Hello friends! In this video we are going to learn some tips that will help us to master our knowledge about lines and polylines. I know even they are the most basic commands in AutoCAD, there are extra features that we can explore. So let's go through them. Settings to edit in a polyline. There are several features we can edit in a polyline and we are going to start with close. To explain you this situation, I'm going to use this example where we are going to draw this simple figure with the command polyline. You will see that what matters here is the way we will draw the last line. Let's activate the command polyline. As you may know, I can click on the icon at the ribbon or a faster way is using its alias. Just type PL and press enter. Then I'm going to draw this irregular polygon and let's make it beautifully starting at the same horizontal plane. First, make sure object snap and ortho mode are on. Hmm, the snaps are off. Let's turn them on. I'm going to hover this endpoint, drag to the right following this track line and then I type 200 mm to start a polyline at that distance from the corner. Then I draw each line by typing the exact length with the keyboard. And to make the things easier for you, you can just look at the left drawing as all the dimension lines are there. Also, notice as we are in ortho mode, all the lines snap vertically or horizontally. And in this way, we can draw all the lines much faster. I'm going to speed up the process. And when I arrive at the last line, I'm going to finish the polyline normally by clicking at the end point. What happened is if I'm using the grips to modify the figure, by trying to move the line at the bottom a bit down, where we should click on this grip at the middle, you can see it separates from the last line. In contrast, what happens if I try to do the same in these other segments? Look. However, let's go back. When we want to join the last line with the start point, we can click on close or typing CL. And this time, I basically remove any start and last point from the polyline and the lines no longer break at the origin. Now I'm going to select the polyline and right click with the mouse. Let's go towards polyline and there are several settings that we can do here. If I click on open, look what has happened. The last segment that I inserted just disappeared, leaving the polyline open. Instead, if I click on close, I get back to a closed polyline exactly how it was before. With the options at the bottom, I basically convert the polyline into a spline. If I choose Cure Fit, you get this result and it's exactly like drawing this figure using the Spline Fit command. On the other hand, if I convert the polyline to Spline Fit, it uses the method of drawing the Spline CV command. I know, it sounds a bit counterintuitive, but CV actually means control vertices. In the same menu related with the polylines, we can add a width in case we want to represent that polyline a bit thicker comparing with the other objects in this drawing. Then we are prompt to insert a value. Because I have these dimensions here as a reference, I can guess more or less how the new thickness will look like. Let's insert 10 and it should be more or less this distance. Type 10, press enter and here you have the result. One characteristic when you add a width to a polyline is when you select it, the grips are located at an imaginary line in the middle. To get back to the previous state, I go again to width, but this time I'm going to type 0 to disable this property. Convert lines in a single polyline. Sometimes we are just drawing something and only after finishing we realize that we have been using the command line instead of polyline. 
That's fine, and there is no need to draw everything again, of course. There is a command for that, the command join. You can find it here on the modify panel. That's simple. Select all the objects and they convert to a single polyline. Line types. A lot of AutoCAD users have encountered problems when dealing with line types. In addition, the way they appear in the workspace can be very different than in viewports on the layout tabs. All that strolling is due to the line type scale. So, in this tutorial we are going to explore this step by step, hoping this won't be a big issue for you. Back on the same drawing, we are going to create a new layer here. Let's name it dash lines. And set a different color, for example this uh, light blue one. Next, I select the drawing at the right and change it to the new layer. On the Layer Properties Manager, there is a column about line types. Let's change the line type for this layer. And first I have to load a new one. And as you can see there are lots of them that AutoCAD provides by default. I select this ISO-Space. Then don't forget to select it also here. Click on OK and close. As you can see, the lines in that blue layer are now dashed. Now, there isn't any control to set a measure of each dash or to set the quantity of dashes within a line. That would be very hard to measure, but what we can do instead is set the line type scale. Now, in AutoCAD, we can set a line type scale for a specific object or we can apply it generally for all the file. And in that case, all the lines that are not continue change their appearance. So, to set the general line type scale, I type LT scale and press enter. The default value as you can see is 1 and this drawing has the dashes with this size. If I change the scale to 0.5 you can see the dash sizes are now half smaller. If I am not happy with the result I can keep changing until I find the size that works for me. So, at this moment it doesn't look hard, but suppose now I draw a line very very large in comparison with the existing objects. What happens here is, with the same line type scale, I cannot see anything. As I don't want to modify the other dash lines, I can do a different process. Select the line and go to properties. And here you can see a setting for the line type scale. By changing this value, and this time I'm going to try a very huge one, for example 50 and let's see. Ah, finally, I can see the dashes properly without changing the lines that I have in the exercise that I showed you before. Now let's go back. But they seem to change. Hmm. Ok, this is actually just a problem of loading the screen. Usually if you zoom the screen a few times we we'll solve this problem, but, but in this kind of situations the best is to use the command regen, regenerate. And now the dashes are visible again. So it was everything for today, but this time before leaving I want to mention that I just started a page of Patreon for Cadimplan. There you can support this channel to help me keep creating more content here. I would really appreciate that. Even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos available and that they are helping you to speed up your knowledge. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.